so today I wanted to do a video just showing you my very favorite recipe ever that I think I've ever made. My kids love it, my husband loves it, we all love it. It's great for picky eaters and it's great for non-picky eaters because I like onions and things, but I still love this recipe. And there are no onions in it, so no worries. But I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm just gonna show you how I make it. It's my most popular recipe. I have over one million pins on Pinterest on it, repins. So um, it's amazing. You guys will love it. And I will show you how I make it and what I do. So let's get started. By the way, did I not tell you what it was? So it's called chicken enchiladas with white sour cream sauce. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. You guys will love it. So let's get started. Okay, so here are the ingredients that you guys are going to need. You're gonna need these flour tortillas. They are not the smaller ones, they are not the big ones. They are just like the medium-sized flour tortillas. You are gonna need some butter, some sour cream, flour, a rotisserie chicken. You can also use chicken breast that you've shredded up, any kind of chicken you've shredded up, it doesn't really matter. I just like to do the rotisserie chicken. And then shredded cheese and then a can of green chilies and some chicken broth. And that's it, like really seriously, that's all you need and it comes out delicious. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is start your oven and preheat it to 350 degrees. Then you wanna take your rotisserie chicken and just shred it up into pieces or whatever chicken you decide to use. If you're gonna use like a breast of chicken or leg or whatever you're gonna do, just shred it up into pieces just depending on how big you want them. You could also do chunks, we just like it shredded. All right, so the next thing you want to do is take your cheese, and you're gonna take about two cups. I kind of just eyeball it, depending on how much cheese I want. I kind of like them cheesy, so I use a little bit more than two cups, but if you want measurements, I would start out with two cups of cheese in your bowl. And I just use any kind of cheese, it doesn't really matter. Whatever your favorite cheese is. So then you're gonna use about two and a half cups of shredded chicken, two and a half to three cups, just depending on how much you have. We usually just do about a whole entire thing, a whole entire rotisserie chicken. So that's two cups for now, he's still shredding it. Then you're just gonna mix it together with the cheese. Okay, so here's the third cup. Like I said, just mix it all together. That's about the ratio that you want with chicken and cheese. All right, so here's the next step. You're going to spray your pan. You're gonna get a, a big old glass pan. Spray it with some pan spray or just some nonstick spray. count 10 out, so I kind of know how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it actually makes a little bit more than that, but I start with 10 just to see how it goes. And then you're gonna take about a handful of this inside the stuffing, the chicken and the cheese, and then just put it on your tortilla like that. And then roll it up, it's probably a little bit too much. You can stuff these however you want them. We usually don't stuff them too much, because we like to have more and then just keep doing it with all 10 of them and then when you're done you stick them in your pan with the ham spray. Enchiladas done. Now we're gonna make the sauce, which is the best part. So I'm gonna take you over by the stove because this is where we make the sauce at. Yay. Your first step is to melt your butter. So let's turn the stove on. All right, so you wanna put your stove on about 
low heat just because you don't want to burn anything that you're gonna do in these next steps. So you're gonna melt six tablespoons of butter. I actually have the recipe a little bit written a little bit differently on the side just because that is like the original way to make it. However, I've tweaked it some because we actually like extra sauce. So I've tweaked it so that we have some extra sauce, kind of doubled the recipe. Okay, so you just wanna melt your butter. Remember, you don't want the heat up too high if you don't wanna burn your flour in this next step. All right, so this next step is really important. Make sure your heat is down low. And you're gonna to want to put in six tablespoons of flour. However, when you're doing it, you wanna make sure that you are stirring consistently. Otherwise, you will burn it and it will not turn out right at all. And you're gonna to wanna to whisk it for one minute. Obviously, you're creating a roux here, which is going to help, in, help thicken your sauce. Then you're going to add in your chicken broth. I just used two cans of this. You can turn the heat up a little bit in this step. All right, once it's whisked together, you can just let it sit there for a minute. And you will find that it's gonna start bubbling in a minute. It's gonna thicken up and bubble. So give it just a minute to do that. All right, can you guys tell it is pretty much thick now, as thick as it's going to get, so that's good. Now what you're gonna do is take it off of the heat and just let it sit for a few minutes because you don't wanna add the sour cream to it when it's hot, otherwise it will curdle your sour cream. It's still gonna be pretty warm when you add your sour cream. As long as it's not just right off of the heat, you'll be fine, so I just let mine sit for about five minutes. All right, so it's been about five minutes, and as you can see, it's not piping hot anymore. You still want to make sure that you put your sour cream in and stir it right away so that it doesn't curdle. So next you're going to add about two cups of sour cream. Like I said, I pretty much doubled my sauce recipe, what I have on my website, which I will post a link in the description. But I pre <clears throat> pretty much doubled the sauce part of it just because we like it lots of sauce. So if you, and we make ours a little bit smaller. So if you make yours thicker and you want less sauce, then go ahead and follow the directions on my site. But if you want yours, um, with some more sauce and you tend to fill them not as full, then you can totally copy this and double and do what I'm doing in the video. So here is one cup and I'm gonna do a second cup. I do a little bit less than a cup on the second one. Make sure that you're stirring it right when you put it in there. So it's kind of a good thing that the sauce is hot and I totally just spilled on the side. But it's a good thing that the sauce is hot because it helps to melt the sour cream so you can actually stir it in there. Otherwise it gets a little bit tough. Okay, and then you're gonna add your green chilies. So most of you are probably gonna wanna add the whole entire can. However, we usually just add about half of the can because we're not huge fans of the green chili. But what's good about it, maybe a little bit more than half. What's good about the green chili is even if you don't like it, it actually gives it like a little bit of a zest of flavor. So even if you're kind of scared of green chilies, I recommend adding it in. My husband's very, very picky and he doesn't mind them. He actually, he likes the flavor, he just pulls out the green chili itself, so he's not eating the green chili. But it does give it a nice flavor. So now we are just going to pour it over our enchiladas the green sauce and make sure you get lots of it. It's delicious. Make sure you cover all of it. Okay, and then what I like to do is just take a spoon and make sure that it gets in between each enchilada, the sauce. So I don't know, you don't have to do this. I'm just kind of picky and I like it to make sure that all of the tortilla gets the sauce on it. So I just use a spoon and do that all of them, just make sure it gets all over it and do the same over here. All right, now we're gonna add about a cup of cheese and you guys can measure um, this out if you want. I just like to add it on there and I do add it right now 
And then I, what you're gonna do is cook them for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then you're gonna broil it at the end. And that's the important part, because that's what makes the cheese kind of just melt and get bubbly and brown and just yummy, crispy cheese. So you can just kind of add however much you want. That one's done, and then this one. And these are super filling, you guys. I probably only eat like two of them, one to two. So you will be surprised at how filling they are. Okay, now we're gonna stick them in the oven. Okay, so then you wanna put them in the oven at 350 degrees. Like I said, for about 20, 25 minutes. Usually it doesn't take too long. Okay, so here is what we're doing next. I just put it on broil. Very important in the step that you watch your enchiladas very carefully because they will start to turn brown very quickly and you will ruin them if you're not watching. As you can see they're already starting to turn brown. It looks more brown in the video than it really is. Okay, so I just pulled this one out. It's bubbling, it's cheesy, it's got tons of sauce, it's so yummy. Okay, now the other one's done and they're so yummy. I'll show you when we plate it how good that is. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope that you guys like those enchiladas. And if you do, be sure to give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye. And if I get a lot of thumbs up, I will be making more recipe videos. If you guys like bye. this, let me know so I can make more. Bye. Okay, bye.